Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review video for a one of those multiple brand branding uh, air compressors. So last weekend I was trying to do some painting. Um, actually, you can see it's still, it's still there. I was trying to paint that body uh, last weekend. And unfortunately, my air compressor decided it no longer wanted to be an air compressor. It's my old one right here. It's an old Harbor Freight, nothing special compressor. I've had it for a couple years now. It's hard, lived a hard life of... Uh, so, time to get rid of it. Because I got a new one today. It arrived uh, just a couple hours ago. Maybe not even a couple hours ago. From what I read on the, uh, from various reviews of this, this uh, air compressor, uh, one of the names that it goes by one is, uh, it says here on the box, Zini. Since people, some reviews mention that name. So we're gonna go with this as a Zini uh, air compressor. This is it right here. Half horsepower, oilless air compressor with a tank. So you can see I'm moving up in the world, and now I got myself a air compressor with a tank. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while now, uh, but unfortunately, since I keep buying cameras instead, I didn't really been putting off uh, getting myself a new air compressor. But now that I had no choice, I went out and got myself one. This isn't very expensive. Uh, I think I spent sixty dollars for it with free shipping. I'll link the, the I'll put a link in the description from the eBay seller that I purchased this from. The price between the air compressors with the tank and without a tank close to each other it was just made sense just to get one with a tank the reviews have pretty been pretty good actually for this uh, air compressor uh, issues I've read is that there's some leakage between the tank and I think the regulator so let's get to it let's open the box and check out this new air compressor where's the uh, instruction manual there Mm -hmm. Also comes with a hose. Oh, There's everything came with the roll of uh, plumber's tape. Very nice. Came with the regulator and attached. Obviously, you can see that's unattached. Look, it's nice and clean. It'd be nice to have a compressor that's clean for a change. So let's get a uh, get at the let's get the uh, regulator attached and see how it works, shall we? I got everything set up. The regulator is on and in place. It took me a few minutes to get it on. I had to loosen that nut and nut, and, you know, do the whole tight and twisty tight. Yeah, anyway, so it's on, it's in place, it's tight. So let's turn it on and uh, see how it does. So you can tell, or there you can hear, it's not extremely loud. It does also it's not whisper quiet, but we're not paying whisper quiet prices for this. Uh, definitely could use this inside, inside your hobby room. It won't disturb other people throughout the uh, uh, dwelling. You can definitely talk over it. Obviously, you can hear me talking over it. So, honestly, the, it doesn't bother me. This this loudness doesn't bother me. I can live with it. It's the same uh, same uh, as loud as my old one. Perfectly fine with that. So let's see how it does uh, shooting air. Because that's what it's for. Yeah, it's up hooked up here to my Eclipse. Increase the PSI a little bit. No pulsing, which is what we want. The air feels good. No pulsing, so that's good. Uh, let's talk about the specifications real quick. It is uh, half a horsepower. The air output per minute is 23 to 25 uh, liters. The air tank holds three liters. The hose connection out of the box is 1/8 BSP and weighs about 5 kilograms. Obviously, you can change the hose connector to suit your hose for other various airbrushes. So I think that covers it really. Um, for 60 bucks, 62 dollars, 61 dollars, whatever it was, I'm not going to complain. If it lasts two years, I will be happy. Uh, my the one that I'm replacing lasted about three, two and a half, three years from Harbor Freight, and that was about an 80 dollar uh, compressor. So. 
I expect to get about two years out of it, and I'll be good. So there we have it, folks. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.